16 row corn planter. Buddy and drove. This is gonna get used here in about two to three weeks if the weather allows. Model brand new is 15. A new one like that is 700,000. There's four pounds of that. There's 18 and a half pounds of corn silage. That's what was in our bunker silo. And if you look at it, remember the corn silage is the whole plant. You're gonna plant that seed at two and a half inches. These discs here will close the dirt over the seed. And then this kind of packs it down, so there's no air space. What you want when you chop the corn side, you guys saw it in the video. As you can see on the seat, it is air conditioned. <laughs> it has a steel steering wheel, so it's gonna be a little hard to break that baby. Remember the tractor from the video going over the top, the big mound of feed? That was sponsored here. When we got all done, we put the tarp over the top. So we grind it up so that they can absorb all the energy. It's a, almost like eating sugar for the cattle. Corn has a lot of energy. Now, as you go out, I want you to look into the one silo. You can step up on the little step before you move to your next session. And you can see that's the door that we take the feed out of the silo. This is from what, what, what's, what's making the water brown? The soil, right. And with it, it takes a lot of our good stuff, our nutrients and all of our things that we want to grow our crops with. about the 1850s to about the 1890s, that general time frame. Then... When they go to get milk, they go out into the barn to get milk. We've got two different groups. So the first group goes into the barn to get milk. While they're outside, we groom the stalls. We bring... This helps protect the cow from getting anything that we might have or us getting anything that the cow might have. <laughs> so, once we got them in the barn and they had their calf, uh, the mom and the baby will spend just a short period of time together. Um, the mom uh, will lift the calf clean and they'll stay together until our next milking time comes up. As they grow, they're going to get hungry in between meals. And when they get hungry, they're going to start to look for something to nibble on. It's like you guys need a snack now and then when you get hungry. If you are in an area where they have like an up-growth, a ribbon, or they can be